Hi, I'm Ruby Lefty, and you're watching Hummingbird's Kitchen. Today, we'll be making. Hi, welcome to Hummingbird's Kitchen. I'm so excited to make this my favorite dessert today. It's called Kazanevi. This is Turkish dessert. Okay, ingredients. Powdered sugar, uh, two, well, 20 to 25 grams. And unsalted, softened butter in the room temperature, 10 grams. This is going to be on the pan. And then this is a different one. This is mochiko. Uh, mochiko, you need 35 grams. And also 35 grams of cornstarch. And 100 grams of sugar. And 600 cc of uh, 600 milliliter of milk and a little bit of vanilla extract that's it so first what we're going to do is put butter and powdered sugar on the pan and make sure you have a good tapering on because otherwise well I don't know I mean this is traditional Turkish dessert so I don't think tapering existed a long time ago but I, I don't know how people deal with that if you know please let me know okay so first of all, this is butter. I'm gonna use butter now. You just pour it on the pan generously. And actually, if you use um, very good butter, you're gonna have a better taste. So please splurge. If you splurge anything, splurge to butter. Oh, maybe a little too much. So I'm just going to put it aside, so maybe not 10, but 7 grams or something. And then we're going to pour the powdered sugar on the butter. Well, we're not going to pour it, we're going to sift it, isn't it? So don't miss the side. So when you cook it, this is going to be a nice caramel, and that's the best part. I love it. I just love it. And because it's very hot today, I'm going to keep it in the fridge until we need this one, okay? Okay, next, we're just going to pour milk and everything else except for vanilla extract in the pan, saucepan. Sugar. Cornstarch. And much go. So now we're going to turn on the heat. We put the flour, so first we use a um, whisk to make sure we're not going to get the bulky part. So it's between um, low to medium heat and you're constantly stirring it. Now I changed to the wooden spoon because I don't want to I don't want to damage the tape front of this pan with a whisk. But just keep stirring gently. Can you see it's much thicker and heavier? At one point you feel it become like this. And then, um, though you don't want to damage the tapering so much, carefully you mix so that you will not get the bulky bowl. Okay, this is good. Um, Alright. So next, this is the exciting part. So get the pan out. Put it on, and no fire, and put everything in the pan through this. Just pour it. And I hope you can get some ideas how thick it should be. I love Turkish people just to create this uh, dessert. This is just so yummy. I love it. I can eat it every day and every night. Yo. So, and then, turn the heat on, uh, medium to low, I would say, and leave it about 20 minutes. Okay, I forgot to mention, but actually before pouring it in, I put two or three drops of vanilla extract in this one. So. You stir it, and then put this one in, and then pour it in, and then turn the heat on, okay? <laughs> I'm so happy to say this. Now you see, it looks like um, lava, 
Oh, it's not beautiful. So, it goes gutsu gutsu. Gutsu gutsu is a Japanese word for the hot things bubbling like this. It's a, it's a good word to remember. I don't know when you're going to use it, but remember it. Gutsu gutsu. So now it's getting gutsu gutsu. And then we're going to turn the heat down to low and leave it this way uh, for a while. I'm going to let you know how you're going to indicate it's enough. Isn't there happiness? Okay, so how are you going to know it's ready? It's use a little spoon or wooden spoon or whatever and then um, turn the very edge of the pan a little bit and you see a little brown color in it you know, it's, it's a caramel, it's getting ready and then you're just going to wait another 3 to 5 minutes and then turn the heat off Leave it until it's cooled in the pan. Okay, so this is the moment. It's cooled a bit. It's still warm, but I can touch it. And you carefully um, detach the side. You see? Like this. Detach the side. That's where the importance of good teflon comes in. Um, I'm still going to dip a little bit. Alright, let's turn it. Yay! Almost. Don't worry about this side. Huh? So this is, this is, you know, you see those marble? This is the caramel of the sugar we spr uh, sprinkled. In J Japanese, it's called uh, okoge. Okoge works for any, anything like a little bit burnt. You know, when you um, cook the rice in a, a pan, in a bowl, you have a little bit of overcooked um, parts on the, on the bottom and the side. That's also called okoye, which is very, very popular. I mean, I'm sure that you like it very crispy and, uh, you know, crunchy. So I love the okoye of this kazanabe. Okay? Okay. Well, actually, many people prefer um, not to refrigerate because then it's going to be harder. Um, and then just keep it in the room temperature in rather cold place and eat it very soft like this. But I do like um, to have it cold and uh, rather hard. So I'm gonna, I personally am going to put it in the fridge. But uh, an authentic way of eating, of my understanding, is you're just going to keep it in um, you're just going to keep it in the room temperature and eat as soft as possible. Okay. Okay. Hey, I hope you like the today's hummingbird's kitchen. The reason why I'm so crazy about Turkish meal nowadays is because about two months ago, me and my daughters went to Turkey on um, tour around the whole um, west part of Turkey, you know, basically the half part of Turkey. And we had so many good food. It was unbelievable. And I came back and as me being uh, kitchen crazy, I just try to make everything I taste it at my kitchen. I hope you're going to make this Kazan TV and you're going to be crazy about it as much as I do.